The Golden State Warriors are your NBA champions, with Steph Curry winning his first Finals MVP trophy. A number of Canadian connections to the game, including former Raptors 905 head coach and Raptors assistant coach Jama Malalela, who right there is in the mix of the celebration on stage. He got his second ring, getting his first championship. Andrew Wiggins, who even had the Canadian flag at his post-game press conference, and he says to all those doubters that didn't believe he could get there and shouldn't be there, it motivated him for the moment. And it's a feeling I can't describe. You know, every day that's, that stuff is motivating. You know, it's put fire in my eyes, and, you know, I just wanted to prove everyone wrong. You know, and now I'm a world champion. You know, everyone's going to have something to say regardless. You know, but whatever they say, they got to say I'm a world champion too. Game two of the Stanley Cup Finals is Saturday night, which you can watch on Sportsnet. And in a significant moment, Nazem Kadri took to the ice for the third straight day, getting closer to return to the ice since crashing into the boards during the last round versus Edmonton. Colorado has a 1-0 series lead. Toronto. And soccer fans still rejoicing over the news that Toronto and Vancouver will be among the host cities for the 2026 World Cup that will be held in Canada, the U.S. and Mexico. I've never seen Canada play in a World Cup in my life and now this guy's going to see them at least twice and in his home city and that to me is just absolutely amazing. <laughs> While the World Cup is expected to bring in a lot of tourist revenue, for the first time since 2019, the F1 Canadian Grand Prix is back in Montreal this weekend with tons of fans from all over the world coming in for the event. And there's a base into the left field. The Jays are back on the field tonight after a brutal lopsided 10-2 loss to Baltimore on Thursday and they're hosting the Red Hot Yankees who are coming off a walk-off win over the Rays. <laughs> And finally, in the WNBA tonight, Canada's Kia Nurse and the fourth place in the West Phoenix Mercury will be taking on the third place Dallas Wings. For City News, I'm Lindsay Dunn.